Hello everyone, uh, quick shout out to Brandon Pfeiffer, check him out on YouTube, Google Plus, trying to get a little two wheel drive slash together after he's lost the other one, an unfortunate event, and um, this is just a basic rundown on how the electronics in a radio control car work, main elements are your receiver, Transmitter, battery pack of course, your choice, nickel metal hydrate because they're cheap, motor to run your gearing, your drive wheels, and a servo for your steering, right. and an ESC to power everything up. And control the motor speed forward and reverse to your motor. Motor just plugs in, like so. Right. Now, this lead here off your ESC. That supplies power to your receiver. If you're running a newer 2.4 gigahertz radio system, you need to make sure that either your electronic speed controller has a battery eliminator circuit built in. This one does, says BEC. Or you need a separate BEC. But with older AM type radios, I believe the receivers have a BEC built into them. And the speed controller runs into channel 2. Make sure you get the plug the right way around with the little tab. Okay. Your steering servo. Have some more room here. <coughs> that. and have a tab on it match the colours up goes into channel 1 big battery plugs in ESC rule number 1 is always turn on transmitter first it's got low battery you'll probably start screaming at you soon then turn on your transmitter. Right. Now, when we hit the throttle, makes your motor work. Your wheel controls your servo. Back in the day, we had to deal with something like this. It's a mechanical speed controller. And you'd have another servo with a linkage. It'd pull and push forward and reverse. You could run this wire to your receiver. Or another option was to get a 4AA battery pack, excuse me, and plug that into the power. Point there on your receiver. And that would supply the receiver with its own power and your big battery pack was left to power your motor. I hope this uh, helped you out, mate. And um, good luck with your build.